Orlando, Florida, the potential trade of slugger Giancarlo Stanton has many moving parts. How much of the $295 million he's guaranteed over the life of his contract are the Marlins willing to eat? What type of package of elite prospects are teams willing to send to Miami to acquire the Ruthian figure who hit 59 home runs in 2017? Finding that balance will not be easy. More Marlins asked on Stanton said to shockingly high baseball's best and brightest have descended on the Waldorf Astoria for the annual GM meetings, and Stanton's future is one of the primary topics of conversation, inside the Closidori meetings, in the media center and pretty much anywhere a cell phone conversation is happening. Everyone wants to know what will happen next, including the Marlins. General Manager Michael Hill said he's met with Stanton this offseason, which was the first step in the process. And now, the GM meetings. This is the first time this offseason I'm with my peers, Hill said, and it's an opportunity to visit with them and get an idea of what their plans are moving forward and see if we match up on anything, and see if there's an opportunity for us to get better. Hill and other GMs here in the Disney footprint have much to discuss. But Stanton really only has one question to answer where does he want to play baseball for the next three seasons? See, Stanton holds two very powerful poker chips. He has full no-trade power, which means he can tell the Marlins which teams are realistic options. And, he has an opt-out clause after the 2020 season, that is huge. He doesn't have to decide now where he wants to play the rest of his career. Stanton will be 31 a couple of days after the 2020 World Series ends, his birthday is November. 8, and he'll have $218 million in guaranteed money left on his deal. Can a 31-year-old slugger land a contract worth that much? More Stanton's not the only big bet who could be traded yes, if he's willing to bet on himself. And, of course, if he's healthy. Heck, agent Scott Boras reportedly has set a 7-year, $210 million contract as the asking price for free agent slugger J.D. Martinez, who is 30. Now, Martinez almost certainly won't get that much but the fact that Boras is talking about it as a possibility means something. Another thing numbers are going to look different in three years than they do now, when Bryce Harper and Manny Machado hit the free agent market after the 2018 season, you're going to see numbers that seem insane, starting at $350 million and going as high as $500. And, of course, those two superstars are younger than Stanton, but which seems more reasonable $450 million for a 26-year-old or $250 million for a 31-year-old? And remember, there is a precedent Alex Rodriguez was 32 when he signed a 10-year, $275 million deal with the Yankees in December 2007. That deal happened after Rodriguez opted out of the final three years of the $252 million deal he signed with the Rangers in 2001. It doesn't matter that the last few years of A-Rod's contract were mostly a disaster. The Yankees knew that overpaying those years were the price of keeping the slugger for his age 32 through age 36 years. Stanton has all the power. Here are some of his options. Cardinals the biggest draw for Stanton. He's played exactly zero playoff games in his career, and he's voiced that frustration on several occasions. Yes, the Cardinals have been on the outside looking in the past two years, but they finished only four games out of a wild card spot in 2017 and just one game out in 2016, and this is a franchise that hasn't missed the postseason more than two years a row in the 2000s. Stanton would finally have a chance to play for a team that competes for October every year. Don't underestimate that, how they match with the Marlins really well. Better than any other team, maybe. The Cardinals have a healthy farm system, with plenty of young players who have either already made the majors or are on the cusp of becoming big leaguers. They have too many young outfielders, and the Marlins could take their pick from the prospects guys like Harrison Batter or 25-man roster regulars Randall Grichik or Steven Piscotti. And the Cardinals have young starting pitchers they could throw in the mix, to Jack Flaherty, Luke Weaver, Alex Reyes. And the Cardinals have money, enough that they could absorb the Lions' share of Stanton's contract, should the Marlins prioritize money over players. The biggest hang-up there are whispers that Stanton, who is from Southern California, isn't interested in playing for the Cardinals, in the middle of the country. Of course, Justin Verlander wasn't interested in playing for the Astros for a long time, either, and that worked out pretty well for him. Dodgers the biggest draw for Stanton the Dodgers represent a chance to go home. He's played his entire career about as far from Notre Dame high in Sherman Oaks as possible, and Dodger Stadium is only 14 miles up the 101 from that school. And, clearly, the Dodgers are set up to be World Series contenders for years to come.
How cool would it be for Stanton to come home and lead the Dodgers to their first World Series title since 1988? How they match with the Marlins very well. The Dodgers have a strong farm system, and they have MLB pieces they could include in a deal, too. Financially, they have a lot of money coming off the books after the 2018 season Adrian Gonzalez, Scott Casimir, Brandon McCarthy and Logan Forsythe, who combined to make roughly $60 million in 2018, are all free agents. After 2018, the biggest hang-up the Dodgers made it to Game 7 of the World Series without Stanton this fall, and it's fair to wonder what their motivation is to make a deal of this magnitude happen and they have an opt-out of their own to deal with Clayton Kershaw can opt-out after 2018, and he will, which means the Dodgers will really have to open the vaults to keep him. In LA Giants the biggest draw for Stanton the Giants aren't Southern California, but they are in California, so that's at least closer than Miami, if going home, is tops on Stanton's priority list. That's speculation, though, how they match with the Marlins. The Giants have limited resources when it comes to prospects, but they do have the financial resources to make this happen and they are motivated to add a big bat to the lineup. They're incredibly motivated, after a disastrous season that started with playoff hopes and wound up with a National League worst 64 wins. Their most pressing need is to add power to a lineup that was led by Brandon Belt's 18 home runs. The Dodgers, for contrast, had six guys with at least 21. The biggest hang-up if the Marlins' is true priority in trading Stanton is to restock the system with an influx of elite talent. This might not work. The Giants could piece together a package, but that would leave the system more barren than they're likely comfortable with Red Sox the biggest draw for Stanton. The Red Sox need a slugger like Stanton in the lineup, and he knows that. Winning a title in Boston would bump him to legend status. How they match with the Marlins well, it's complicated. The Red Sox have the players and the money, but they would have to do a fair amount of juggling to make this work. They already have three everyday outfielders, Mookie Betts, Andrew Benintendi and Jackie Bradley Jr which means they'd have to trade one of those guys away to make room. Because you can bet there's zero chance Stanton, who takes pride in being an outstanding defensive outfielder, would approve a trade that includes him being primarily a DH or learning to play first base. The biggest hang-up the rumor that says Stanton doesn't want to play for the Cardinals includes the rumor that he's not interested in the Red Sox, either. Phillies the biggest draw for Stanton the Phillies are pretty clearly a franchise on the rise, with a solid core of both young position players and young pitchers. With fellow baseball player bodybuilder Gabe Kapler installed as manager, Stanton could be the final piece needed to bring this franchise back to regular contender status. How they match with the Marlins The Phillies were rumored to be interested during the summer, but honestly, this isn't a great fit. To make a deal like this happen, they'd need to include one of their young outfielders, which the Marlins would love. The Phillies might not be keen on sending cost-controlled potential all-stars away in exchange for $295 million in guaranteed money. Seriously, Odubel Herrera, Nick Williams, Aaron Alder and Reese Hoskins are all under club control contract through 2021. The biggest hang-up guess we already talked about that, eh? Really hard to see this one happening.